Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cashton High School. Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Productions, as we're ready to bring you tonight's Scenic Bluffs ball game. It is going to feature a good one here with the Cashton Eagles hosting the Bangor Cardinals. We had a great game on a tape delayed basis back in, uh, what was that, late December? Here's the opening uh, tip, the jump ball, and Cashin's going to come away with it with Butzler doing the jumping. That guy can sky, can't he? Here is Butzler. He'll come back out the top to Noah. Noah Hammersbach on the drive, his first shot up and over the top, no good. Catching the backboard and then the front of the rim. Kicking things off. We'll give you the starting lineups here in just a moment. <clears throat> once we kind of get ourselves acclimated to where we're at. <laughs> this is going to be uh, Mitchick. Mitchick, uh, number two. Now we're going to get a jump ball. That was a great job there. Number 12 in Samuel Crop. Also going to have number 20 in Elijah Tucker out there, 24 and Hayden Mossman. And let's see, who am I missing here? The other uh, Chase Horseman, number five. All right, there we are. Yeah, Chase Horseman, is, he was uh, so tough in Bangor back in that first game. It was just, uh, it was really a lot of fun to watch him. Gonna get a three second call. That might have went on Horseman. Kind of got camped down below there and couldn't get out. Still no score here as we get things rocking and rolling. This varsity basketball game tonight. Here's Noah. Nice. Uh, tried to bounce pass. Might have went off the leg of Bangor and into the hands of Horseman. He's going to try and drive, and he lays it up and in. Well, I tell you what, he did that a lot. In the previous game, we'll see how that all plays out here tonight. Here's Hemmerspach. Brady shot, no. Brett comes away with it, kicks it out to Butzler. Butzler looking to take a drive. He turns, spins to the right side, and he hits. <laughs> Tying the ball game up at two apiece. Well, they went over a minute and a half without scoring. Well, they got some points on the board. Here's a steal. And the layup is good by Hemmerspot. And it's 4-2. Cashton. Over on the far side, 24 and Mossman gives it up here to Horseman. Horseman on a skip pass. Here's a good looking shot. Boy, I guess it was. It went zipping through the net by Tucker. That was a three, it's five, four. Almost lost the handle. Cash and able to retrieve it. Brady gives it up here and uh, hanging in the air. That was Butzler, would not fall. That ball tipped away by Brett Butzler. Good job on that one defensively. Five, four year score. They'll lob it out to Horseman, just above the free throw line, kicking it back over to Tucker again. Tucker started out, if I recall, pretty hot with two quick ones in the first game, and then uh, the defense got on him. Butzler with Crop in front of him. Now Brady makes a little move, and he banks it in. Eight, six, Bangor. Tucker again with the handle. Gives the ball up here to Michek. His drive is good. Michek for two, and it's a 10-6 Bangor lead. Butzler.
Backing things up just a little bit. Here comes a drive. Boy, he just knifed his way through that one. Just under the 14 minute mark here in the half, and we got a good one going here, as we mentioned before. We'll take a look at our sponsors as much as we can, when we can. Here's a shot up. That is good. Another three here for Bangor. Mitchek that time with it. Here's a shot up a little bit short and a rebound coming away. That was Tucker pulling it down. Well, we start from the bottom and work our way up. Of course, the uh, WCCU, the Westby Co-op Credit Union, helping us out with tonight's ball game. That ball tipped away. Trying to get it is Wall. And we're going to get a jump ball call here. Michik got his hand on the top of the ball. Pretty good play by Michik. 13 17 to go. In this first half, it's 13 8, five point margin here with the lead. Here comes Hemmerspach on the layup. A little scoop and it would not drop. A little bit high off the glass. Good try here. Now another three. That's good. Wow. Lighting things up. That was Mossman getting that one to drop. 16 8, doubling up on. Cashton. At the uh, free throw line and Brady gets another one. Cutting into that lead. Here comes Crop. That's a block right into the hand, uh, to uh, Butzler or check that. That was uh, Hemmerspot. And they give it up out in front to Noah and he lays it up and in. And the foul on top of that. Well, the speed of this uh, bunch will get you every time. It's, uh, it is so quick. The foul goes on Tucker. His first. Hemmerspach will get the roll. Well, they're clawing right back into it here. Down by three, the Eagles. Here's Tucker, watch him with those threes. He's already got two. And uh, right here in Mossman, he has one. They're not, not afraid to throw it up. And we haven't seen anything out of Horseman just yet. Kind of doubling up on Horseman. Here's Crop for three. Ball, he hit that one, wow. Crop for three. Here's Cashton. Over to Butzler, back up to Brett. Has that one taken away. That was Horseman. And they're gonna lose the handle? They do. It's gonna stay with. Oh, they're gonna say he was out of bounds. They're going to say when uh, was that Tucker or Mossman Mossman when he tried to save it his foot was out of bounds. Wall comes back into the ball game after taking a short break. He gets it to Hammerspock. Hammerspock behind the back. Oh that one took off on him. Up and over the top. Must be Co-op Creamery with uh, both conventional and organic dairy products in downtown Westby. Helping us tonight. And the Vasatag Funeral Home since 1970. Providing a valuable service during the time of the loss of a loved one. Well, we're going to get a timeout here. Bangor. Wanting to talk things over. They're up by six with 11.02 to go in uh, this first half action. 
Yeah, it looks like it's just going to be a quick 30-second uh, timeout, so we'll keep it right here. Thanks also going out to the Verroca Dental Center for that next beautiful smile. Stop in, talk to Dr. Leanne Klum and Associates. Thanks also going out to the Verroca Booster Club. Well, President Rob Klum reminds everyone, if you uh, really enjoy having a lot of fun and supporting the Verroca Athletics, March 23rd, it's a Saturday at the uh, Pedretti Barn between Waspy and Viroqua, their annual fundraiser. They will have a ton of stuff going on there, great food. Try and get your tickets from any of the members. It's $30 a person. Quick pass inside, here's Horseman. He's gonna lay it up and in. Boy, Crop with a rifle of a pass. And uh, Horseman gets his second bucket of the night. Here's a drive by Ben Grandel, who's now into the ball game, and that came up empty as it was kind of blocked, it looked like there. I'm not sure who got to it. Bangor going inside. There's the shot up, and that's Michek. Michek getting that one to go, and he has seven points on the night already. Shot is up and good by Hammerspot. 23-16 here as we hit the 10-minute mark. Crop with the ball. Weaves his way through the defense. Kicks it over to the far side with Tucker. Tucker shot, no good, a little bit strong. And uh, Krop is going to be called for the foul on this one as he crashed literally into um, Brett Hemmerspach. Tucker is going to come out of the ball game, and coming into the game is 31, Lucas Reed, a senior. They get the ball over to Noah Hemmerspach. Out here to Brady. Brady looking things over. Little scoop handoff here to Butzler. Butzler looking to take the drive. He stops, tries to hit that one. Bumped in the process, but no foul called. Crop right on top of him. Horseman goes over to Michek. Michek on the drive. He is going to overshoot that one. Kicking the ball out. Three is short. Hammerspock with the rebound over to Butzler. Butzler will slow things down just a tad. Back up here to Noah. Noah on the drive and it will not fall as he's fouled. Horseman pleading his case on that one. Noah Hammersbach hits the first. Well, the VFW of Iroquois having a great Friday night fish fry, folks. You got to stop down there on the south side of Iroquois. It's excellent, excellent food. Hammersbach hits both. Still five-point advantage here for Bangor. Crop trying to make a move and a kick by Noah Hemmersbach. Michek has uh, Brett guarding him. Now they're going to get a foul on the... Uh, I might have called that offensive. They didn't change the fouls on the uh, board, so I'm not quite 100% what that was, unless he did a double dribble, maybe. That could have been it. Now we're going to get an offensive foul away from the ball. 
Well, the officials are going to make themselves known here on this one as they're going to start calling it pretty tight. Wall comes out of the ball game and Edgar Areola comes in. Jake gets uh, his first foul called on him. And coming across the timeline is Lucas Horman, number 11. Oh, and almost taken away. Now Horseman. Fakes uh, left, goes right, dishes off here. And oh. Areola went flying uh, along the floor. He skidded about 12 feet, and I am not joking. Bumped pretty good, but no foul called. So Michek is going to get the ball in. Here's a shot up and no good. Rebound was Reed. Goes over the far side with Michek again. Horseman back up here to Mossman. Good job here by the defense. Setting up a bit of a pick here and the ball got loose. Horseman kicks it back out. High arcing shot is good by Mossman for three. We're gonna slow things down here, says Noah Hemmerspach, and he puts up one finger for the play. Here's a three on the way, that's no good by Brady Hemmerspach. Mossman got the ball and comes down the court. Here's Reed. Trying to make a move, but Noah stayed right on him. Switching off here. Noah now on the coverage. Inside pass. That was a good looking pass and a bit of a bank shot by number 11 and Lucas Horman. Back down we go quickly here. I apologize for moving the camera that fast. That's how quick they got down the court on me. Nice play inside by Brett Hammerspot gets his first bucket of the night. 28-20 with six and a half to go in this half. Michek with the ball. Back up here to uh, Horman. And again, our thanks going out to Vernon Memorial Healthcare. VMH, so much care, so close. And a great job there defensively as the ball is uh, kind of a, one of those unforced errors. All right underneath us, Hemmerspach to Hemmerspach on the inbound pass. Thanks to Vernon Electric Cooperative. Affordable electrical energy. There's a layup attempt, no, and the rebound after off the fingertips of uh, Brady Hemmerspach. Wound up into the hands of Horman, I believe it was. And now into the ball game here. This is uh, going to be back in, I should say, is Tucker. There's a pass intercepted. And the layup is good. That was uh, Brett Hammerspot. Closes the gap to six. And they'll look to try and get that defense to pick up a little bit here for the uh, Cardinals. Oh, the Eagles, I should say, needing, needing that defense. Play right into the hands of Mechek. Now Horseman. Too much on that one. A foul from behind. That was a late whistle. Horseman will go to the line and we'll take a look here. Who they're going to call that one on. Might have been Brady. I think it was. Yep, that's who it was. His first. Well, Horseman hits the first. Second shot is going to rim in and out, and Wall comes away with it. Hanging, shooting, and hitting. Noah Hammerspot. Here's Crop once again. Over here to the near side. Picked off. 
This is Hemmerspot. He's going to drive and a blocking foul on Kropp. Well, our thanks going out to uh, Vernon Manor Healthcare Center North Side for over 110 years in Vernon County when it comes to your rehabilitative care. Hammerspot will shoot two, gets the first. Thanks also going out to Sleepy Hollow, the three facilities on the north side of Viroqua, bringing you the action tonight. Thanks to LaVon, Michelle, Jan Janie as well. Janine, I think. Did I say Jan I got to talk to her about that. Let's take a look here now. Tucker getting the ball across the timeline. He was dogged a little bit there with Butzler, and then Butzler switches back off. Here's a takeaway. This is Hemmerspach, and he's going to lay that one up and in. Brett again with a quick takeaway. Here's Horseman on the drive. Block in there by Wall. And now, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Wall is going to get caught for that foul, but he had his hands wrapped around that ball like there was no tomorrow. That was a nice try by Jake Wall. Both Hemmerschbachs coming back in, Brady and Noah. Wall and Grandel will come out of the ball game. 29-28. Back up to the top here after uh, Rosini is now into the ball game number one. I didn't see him sneak in. <laughs> Here's Tucker, far side, Mossman. Mossman comes back up to Brazzini. He wants to drive and say kicks it out to Tucker. Tucker's three on the way. No rebound. Hemmerspot. Over here to Connor Bussler, back up the top, a three on the way, it's short, and under the bucket. Quick outlet pass, and that's no good. Bazzini, though, he'll put it back up and in. Garrett Bazzini picks up two, 31-28. Just out of bounds. And I tried to do a little lob here. Unfortunately, just a little too far. Now you can take a look at the time and see what they got cooking. Thanks to Sealand's Carpet Land. Check out their totally renovated store. Boy, what a, what a job they've done adding on. Shot is up and good by Mossman. Boy, his shot is just uh, very quick, isn't it? Here's Butzler, no, rebound by Horseman. Horseman down the court, and he overshot everybody on that one. Well, unforced error that, that time around. Here comes Butzler. Boy, he goes down hard. Yeah, let's take a look and see where that foul came from. That's going to be on Tucker, his second. Brzezani and Tucker over to talk to coach Nick Meacham. Shot is up and good for Butzler. That's his first point of the night. He's had a couple good looks. They just haven't fallen for him yet. Time to get him on track, huh? He gets them both. Sealand's Carpet Land, of course, in Coon Valley. Scenic Bluffs Community Health Care right here in Cashton. Their clinic. Boy, what a great job they continue to do. The corporate office here as well. I'm going to get a hold call here. And 
and they're going to call that one on Edgar Ariola. They get the ball out here to Mossman. There he is. Walk the tightrope just for a second. Mossman uh, finally got rid of the ball to Horseman, now Brazzini. Crowd trying to pick up that defense as we hit the two minute mark in the ball game in the half, first half that is. Mossman again getting the bucket. Here comes Noah and the Eagles back up the top. This is uh, Brett. Back over to Butzler. Rosini on him. Now Brady with the ball. In, oh, nice pass. Little give and go. And Brady is the recipient of a beautiful pass from Brett. Here's a layup. That's up and good by Mossman. He just, uh, nobody's getting between him and the bucket. That ball off to the uh, right. Put back, no, Brady. There's Brett. They got it to go somehow. Brady working hard underneath, could not get it to drop, and then Brett came in and picked it up and laid it up. Oh, there's going to be a foul on Butzler. Mitchick uh, will go to the line here. Connor just up in the air, not much he could do there. He was already committed himself. And that was enough for the foul. Wow. That was down inside the cylinder and hit both front and back and kicked out. He'll get the second one, though. Butzler over here to the near side. Back to Butzler from Bre uh, Brett. Trying to make the move. Brzezini, boy, all over him. Brady comes down with it. Back over to Butzler. His shot is up. No good. That's the sixth team foul here now as Ariola gets another one. That's number two at least on him. And that's what it is, number two. Well, the Riverbank helping us out tonight. Westby and Coon Valley, south side Westby and downtown Coon Valley. Down home financial help. Mossman gets it up over here to Michek. Horseman now. Wanted to go up over the top and it was picked off. Here's a pass, and the layup is good. Whoa. Hammerspach had to kind of change his idea of what his shot was going to look like. He wound up uh, going with a layup, kind of a scoop layup there just in the nick of time, and he laid it up and in. Down by two with 16.8 seconds remaining here in the half. Horseman turns it over here. Uh, again, he wanted to get rid of the ball, and he wound up hip-hopping, skipping right on the line. So now it can be cashed in with the opportunity. They get the ball in. Here is Hemmersbach. That's off to the left. You can see that. Getting oh, a little too hard on the pass. Grando saw Brady Hemmerspach and then he rifled it, and I do mean rifled it. Actually caught the ref right in the chest. Mossman, nope, has the ball taken away. Quick pass here. We got time. Layup is good by Butzler. And that will do it. Whoa, what an event right there. Cash and defense coming through. And a 38-38 ball game. 
They get the bucket to tie it up right at the buzzer. Thanks to Premier Co-op helping us out since 1893, serving the agricultural communities, surrounding communities here. And our thanks to Nordic Lane, Scott and Sue Sordahl. Enjoy family fun year round at Nordic Lanes. We're gonna take a break here, folks, and come back in just a little bit. I'll actually try and add up some point totals here for us and tell you who's done what. Back in a little bit. Taking a quick look here at some of the scoring uh, for both teams in this 38-38 uh, ball game. Nolan Mitchick uh, with two, four, and seven, eight points tonight so far. Horseman with five. This is for Bangor. Crop with three. Lucas Horman with two. Tucker with six. Mossman with 12 so far tonight. And Garrett Rosini with two. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, Noah Hemmerschbach leading the way right now with 16. Jake Wall has not scored yet. Brady Hemmerschbach with six. Brett Hemmerschbach with eight. Connor Butzler with four. And of course, the two to tie things up right at the end of the half. And Drew, um, or yeah, there we go. And uh, let's see, so that is, I'm gonna double check that one, but I've got him for four. He might have, uh, might have more than that, but we'll, at least that's where we're at. <laughs> Seven and a half minutes to go. We'll come back with uh, second half action. Thanks for watching. Welcome back to Cashton, Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Productions as we are set for the second half action. And I tell you what, we are in for a terrific uh, second half here, I have a feeling. Here's Crop with the ball, as Bangor will have the first opportunity. He's looking for some help here now. Good defense there with the crew. And there is uh, Tucker. Boy, he came out of nowhere. <clears throat> and he's able to get the first bucket here in this second half. Here comes Hemmerschbach. He hangs oh, a little bit too much. Here's Jake Wall. He's going to try and put it up. No. Back in again was Brady. That one go. They had three shots at it. Defense tightening up there a little bit. Here's Mitchick, and Mitchick has the ball ricochet off one of the uh, one of the Eagles. It looks like now is they're going to say that the Cardinals will keep the ball. <clears throat> looks like Tucker to inbound. He gets it to Crop. Able to do that. Back over here they go to Michek to Horseman. Back up to the top with Crop. Now Mossman over to Tucker. Tucker backing up just a tad. Gets it over here to the near side with Crop and Butzler guarding him. Mossman coming out on the wing. Drives free throw line. Oh, we're going to get a travel here. He stutter stepped just a little bit. Oh, the first uh, turnover here. Well, thanks to Ashley Liam, Miles of Smiles, Child Care, Our Savior's Basement Church in uh, Westby there, I believe. That's going to be a place to go. We thank them for their support of today's broadcast. That ball up and uh, kicked out where Tucker was able to grab it. Tucker's shot is no good, and they're going to get a rebound. And I think they're going to call it on Crop. If they do, that would be number three, and that's what it is, number three on him. Now coming into the ball game, number 35 in Willis Pollock. Pollock comes in for Crop, who comes out. Well, he took one right on the old uh, kisser there, too. He's holding his lip. Here is a play. Oh, it would not go. 
for Noah Hemmerspach. They rolled around a full circle. Here's Horseman, lobs it up over to the other side for Tucker. His shot is up, that's no good. And we're gonna get a foul here on, looks like Brett Hemmerspach. So Brett with the foul. Tucker's shot, no. That's gonna go off from Michek. They get the ball into Brady and he hands it off to Noah. Noah gets across the half court line and then goes over towards the Cashton bench. Wall kicks it back out, nearly lost. Now Brady to Brett, back to Jake. Jake trying to make a move here. That ball is blocked. He's going to go to the line. The follow through by number 35 in Pollock creates the foul. Uh, Jake Wall will try to tie things back up again. And he hits the first. That's Jake's first point of the night. Now he's looking for number two. And he got them both. Back to a 40-40 ball game here, folks. We're gonna get a foul here. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, you can go either way on that one, but this time it, it's going to go on Connor Butzler. Pretty physical ball game. I think the officials are probably doing a good job with it, really, when everything's said and done. Here's another takeaway. Swiping the ball away was Mossman off from uh, Brett Hammerspach and his steal. I'll get the ball over here to Noah, and he'll come back across the timeline. He's going to drive all the way. That one partially blocked. He got his own rebound back up to the top with Butzler. Here comes Hemmerspach. Turns back out to the top with Connor. Connor on that handoff to Brady. Brady has it tipped away, but into the hands of Brett. Back to Brady. The underhand scoop, and it's going to go here. Oh, they're going to call travel. Wow. They're going to call a travel on Jake Wall after he had uh, made that bank shot down underneath. That was a tough break right there. It was, I guess uh, you could say, well, no wonder it was a good move, huh? There's a give and go. And Pollock picks up his first bucket of the night. He's in uh, because crop is a lot of uh, trouble. He's got three fouls. Butzler tips that one away and it's going to stay to the right side. We're going to get a timeout. Coach Wall says, I think we need a timeout. It's going to be a quick 30-second one, so we're going to keep it right here. Thanks to Main Street Mobile Mart, Rob and the crew, Synergy Mobile Fuel. Well, I thought I was going to keep it right here, but we'll come back. And again, thanks to... Uh, Main Street Mobile Mart. Also the Viroqua Clinic, part of that Gunnarsson Health System. Downtown, south side downtown, Viroqua. We're going to get a foul here on Brett Hammerspach. That'll be number two at least on him. Got tangled up with Horseman. That is his second. 
Horseman with the ball once again. He gets, oh, he somehow threaded the needle, and uh, that was Pollock getting the, the two. Pollock has been the recipient of two nice passes. Handing the ball off. Here's a drive. That one will not drop for Brett. Horseman behind the back. Kicks over here to the near side. This is Tucker. You bet. Tucker hitting that one. Another three. And a two for Brett. I'll get the ball crossed. Michek nearly had that one tipped away, but it went into the hands of Horseman. Here's a three that is no good, and Brett is there for the rebound. Over to Noah. Trailing on the play was Butzler. Instead, to go down low. It's going to be a stop and a shot in and out. No good. And it's going to go off from Jake Wall, they say. Tucker getting the ball across the timeline over here to the near side with Horseman goes down even lower to Michek. Michek again with that inside pass and there is Pollock again. Pollock has made himself known. Here's Wall. Stops trying to get it over here to Hammerspock. Inside to Hammerspock and that's good. Brett to Brady. Still a five-point advantage here for Bangor. Mossman. Back to Mossman from the check. There's uh, Pollock. Now Pollock is going to be called for the foul. Coming in from behind. Hemmerspach getting the ball back over crossed, and now it's Butzler. <laughs> Here's Butzler, and they're going to say a three second call on Jake Wall. Boy, I tell you what, they're just not catching a whole lot of breaks right now. As you can see, we're approaching the 11 minute mark of the ball game. Upper left corner of the screen, and it's five-point advantage here for Bangor. Oh, far side is going to bounce right out of bounds. <laughs> Tucker lays the ball down where the official said it, it touched. Here comes Noah Hemmerschbach now. Back over to Noah from Brett. We're gonna, we're gonna get a foul here on, uh, not sure who, was that Tucker? Let's take a look here. We're gonna have to wait and see. Michek, they're gonna say. He's gonna come out of the ball game for a few moments. Here's Noah, stops, popping that one. No, it was off Pollock with the rebound. Crop back into the ball game with his three fouls. There's a ball tipped away and it went right into the hands of Pollock. That shot, no good. Hemmerspach out to Hemmerspach. And he'll lay it up and in. 
Brett with a perfect pass to Noah. Horseman, no, second time, it's good. That shot is not going to drop. Boy, Connor Bustler on the floor. Here comes Horseman. Ball tipped away. Now we're going to get a timeout, a full minute timeout, says Coach Meacham. He wants to talk things over. We're going to do the same thing, take a little break. 9.47 remaining here in the ball game and a five-point advantage. It remains here for Bangor. Thanks again to a number of those uh, sponsors helping us out here tonight. We do want to say thanks to Embroidery and more. That is uh, Greg Danes and the crew down there at 210D Swigham Road. It's your team looking sharp as ever. Bangor with the ball. Horseman trying to make a move. He's double teamed and they're going to call a foul here. That might have been on... Uh, Noah Hemmerspach. That would be number two on him or number one? I thought it was number two. Thought he had a foul before, but they're going to say one on him. That ball tipped right into the hands of Brett Hemmerspach. Comes down, he lays it up. No, it's not quite enough. Horseman with the rebound. Mossman with the spin over to Horseman. Back up to Tucker. Tucker has that one tipped away by Ariola, And out of bounds it goes. Both teams with four fouls. And Lucas Reed is coming back into the ball game, I believe, or checked out. See who that, no, number 11 in Lucas Horman. There we are. Lucas Horman back into the game. Ariola coming away with the steal. Good job by Edgar. Here's Noah. He's going to drive, and they're going to say no. A foul on the floor, I think. So before the shot. Pollock comes out of the ball game. Well, I tell you what, he really did a great job while he was in there. Give him some credit. Six points. Michek is, uh, is back into the game. Here's a layup attempt. Wow, did not go. Right there for Brady Hemmerspach. That was a great try. Jake Wall is going to be called for the foul. Trying to keep his hands on the ball, but follow through kind of got him, I believe. So Michik is going to go to the line here, and he'll shoot two. Both teams now with five team fouls. Boy, that had way too much English on it. Thanks to Evinger's Equipment Sales and Service, Mark Evinger and family. Reminding you that they service what they sell. Well, Michek is going to get the second of two. Here's Brett up to Brady. Back out to Edgar. Now Brett again. Brett's shot is going to bounce out. Wow. There's a steal by Noah. Weaves his way through, and it's an offensive foul. You know, I don't know why, but I could almost sense that one coming. Michek will look to inbound. Gets it over here to Horseman, back up to Tucker, and across the timeline. 52-46 ball game, Bangor. Cashin has had to play from behind a lot here tonight. They tied it up at the half on a Butzler 
layup right as the buzzer was getting ready to sound. Oh, there should have been a travel, and they didn't. They didn't call it. Wow. I believe that was uh, that was Tucker, and now Butzler hits. On the baseline, there's a partial block and then into the hands. Well, it's like he had to decide if it was a jump ball or a foul. It's going to be Cashton at the 706 mark. Not able to get that one to drop after Bangor defender was on the ground was Hemmerschbach. Here comes Tucker, baseline move. He's going to come up a little bit short, and the ball comes into the hands of Connor Butzler. Quick to go down the court. His shot, no. Rebound coming away. Areola. There's going to be a foul on Horman. Lucas Harmon with the foul. That is the sixth team foul. Both teams now. Want to probably be a little careful as Pollock comes back into the ball game. And Ben Grandel comes in to spell Brady Hemmerschbach for a moment. They get the ball over here to Connor Butzler. Oh my goodness, from way downtown. He uh, said, this is feeling pretty good. And it dropped down. Cashing within three and then a layup. To overlaid that one. That was a Butzler. Quick kick out to Brett Hammerspach. Back to Butzler. Randall pushes the ball back over. Staying out on the rim for Butzler. Butzler again, try the second one. That one was just short. Trying to save that one was Areola. Wound up in the hands of Mossman. Now Macek slowing things down a tad. Got a hand in there. That was uh, Brett. Now Noah sets up for three. Got it. to an even ball game. Wow, starting fresh, huh? 54 apiece here. And we're gonna hit that five minute mark. Things will get more intense, I would imagine. Back up to the top, Tucker, look out for him. Ariola comes away with the rebound. Over to Butzler and he'll walk things across. We're under five minutes to go in the ball game. Butzler on the hang, no good. Ariola got the rebound, trying to put it back up. It's going to be a foul on the floor, they say. Ariola will go to the line in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Jake Wall comes back in. He enters for Grando. Jake Wall will come in for Ariola if he can uh, make both of these. Shot is up, no good. Well, thanks again to uh, those sponsors. We do want to say thanks to Lori Holte, Eagle Title Company, doing business only in the counties of uh, Monroe, Vernon, and La Crosse. A quick time out here. We'll do the little same thing because I'm sure the music is going to come right back at us. <laughs> Four thirty-four remaining in this ball game, and it's all knotted up. 
thanks to some of those sponsors and uh, one of those being the Wright Insurance Agency, Miranda Wright, as uh, offering that American Family Insurance. Family, you choose. That ball tipped away and it will stay with Bangor. Also, ADRC of Vernon County, well, right there in Viroqua, you'll find the main office. We appreciate their terrific support along the way. Here's Mossman with the ball. Bounce pass into Horseman. Double team kicks it out to Krupp. He's open and wow, he hit it. Krupp kind of showing he's got a little range also. Second bucket of the night, both have been threes. Here's Hemmerspach. Brady going to hang. That one's no good. Jake Wall gets the rebound, kicks it out. Oh, Paul got away from everybody, and Kropp came down with it. So that's going to be an offensive foul as Horstman took one uh, full in the body on uh, Noah Hemmerspach. Now they're going to shoot free throws here. Let's see what Horseman can do. He hit it. Second one coming. Now a little bit long, and uh, Hemmerschbach, Hemmerschbach gets the rebound. Noah will bring the ball down the court over here to Butzler. Four-point ball game. 3.30 to go. Bangor with the lead. That ball is going to be stripped away. Wow. Back up. Good job there. I don't know how they kept that one from no uh, travel being called. Butzler. Horseman on the floor wondering why he didn't... Uh, draw a charge. There's a nice pass. Uh, interception, I should say. Oh, boy. Now it's going to get a little physical here. Michek with the foul. Oh, and you, all of a sudden, when you got players, uh, let's see, four, uh, three out of the four times, somebody's on the floor. Might be getting a little rough. <laughs> Just a little. Put those uh, football pads back on, boys. Shot is up and good for Noah. Got another one coming. Just a bit short. Three-point ball game, still one possession. Get a stop here, you can still tie it up. Nice dish, and Pollock is on that receiving end again. Boy, they do a great job with that. Gonna get a foul here on, I think, Horseman as Brett will go to the line. Horseman pleading his case. but to no avail. Well, Brett gets the first one. Thanks to the Bank of Cash and Scott Wall and his wonderful crew. It's friends helping friends. That's the, kind of the name of the game. Brett hits them both. And we're still back to that three-point difference here. Thanks to Bobby John's homemade uh, from scratch meals. Well, you can't go wrong there. And I want to say thanks to, uh, that's right out here, Sam Balto, right up on uh, Front Street. And our thanks also going out to Cade Clearing. Brett and Riley Cade taking care of things when it comes to those rickety trees that are near your buildings. You want to get rid of them. 
do it the safe way with Cade clearing. Thanks going out to Carmen Fortune, your New Directions real estate agent. She'll help you out if you have questions about when is a good time to buy, maybe to sell. She's got a load of information for you, helping you out with that. Westby and Viroqua. Thanks to Kevin Kirking, Cash and Building Supply, and Courtney Cousy with CBS Design. They do a great one-two punch there. You got all of your, all everything that you're going to need, folks, from Cash and Building Supply when it comes to any of your building needs. And Courtney can uh, set up a 3D design. Oh, wow, there's a three by Krupp. My goodness. That was a big shot. Turn around, shot, no good. Rolled right over the top again for Brett. Here's Mossman. Three second call on Pollock. Oh, chance here with under two minutes to go. Two possession game with a three pointer in line as it's a six point advantage here for Bangor. Michek is going to be called for the foul. And it's two shots coming now. Double bonus for Cashton. Noah gets the first. Cashton Farm Supply, Ernie Peterson and his crew of organic farming experts. Hammerspot gets that one. Out there on Highway 27. Coon Valley Telecommunications, we thank them for their terrific support. That ball is gonna go back, it's gonna stay here with the uh, Bangor crew. Serving Coon Valley, Chaseburg and Stoddard with DSL. Great TV packages, telephone. Anger gets the ball up and out to crop at a minute and a half to go in the game. Thanks also uh, when we take a look here to uh, Chaseburg Farmers Union Co-op. John Maslovichek reminding you of Bear Mountain Fuel Pellets if that's what you like to have uh, for alternative fuel. Well, the foul is gonna go on Brady. That was a close one there, man. Well, let's see what Mossman can do in a four point ball game that they have the lead. It will not fall and we're gonna get a foul here on Horseman. Well, they're going to go back the other way here. Let's see who's going to be shooting the free throws. Looks like it's going to be Brett. Brett Hemmerspach. Shot will not fall. Again, thanks to all those terrific sponsors now helping us out. We were able to get through all of them. This ball game not done. We'll have to wait and see what happens here, of course, as Hemmerspach does hit that one. So Brett got one of two. Here comes Krupp, and the ball tipped away, going out of bounds. Well, you just got to play some tough D, and hopefully they... If you're cashing, you hope that it 
Bangor takes a shot that does not hit. Oh, there's Pollock. Boy, yeah, what, a, what a move right there. Brett trying to get the ball out, and now Brady comes over and creates the foul. Fifty seconds remaining. That shot no good. Brady gets the rebound. Here comes Noah. Looking to make something happen here. Shot is up and good. Brett hits that one and here's a timeout. 65-63 with 31 seconds remaining. And they got a minute timeout. They're going to use it. Now, as you can see, just a touch over 31 seconds remaining here in this ball game. And Cashin is going to come out playing some tough D here, see if they can deny the inbound pass, maybe. Maybe create a turnover. Or you have to do a quick foul. It would be. Both teams in double bonus if that happens. Here's Crop. And Noah. They're going to have Noah and uh, Crop are both. They had a little chat with the official, and then they gave each other with the official a fist bump. Not sure if there was something being said there, maybe prior to the foul. Prop hits that one. Another three on the way, that's no good. Brady with the rebound. Got it back out, Hammerspot, his shot is good. And a timeout. Wow. Just under 12 seconds remaining and we're within one. An exciting finish once again. Well, a lot of people are on their feet now. We may or may not get to this. We'll see. We're going to do what we can. They get the ball in and a quick foul here. And they'll bring the ball over here to the near side, to the right side, I should say, with 11 and a half seconds remaining. 67, 66, and Horseman goes to the line. the first. He gets that one. And the timeout. Horseman puts the Cardinals up by two. And they got a chance here to tie or win with 11 and a half seconds remaining here in the ball game. And uh, we're going to keep it right here. Area wrestlers down to Madison wrestling on Thursday evening. Late Thursday. 
Also, uh, women's wrestling going on tomorrow, or tomorrow, on Thursday as well. So it's going to be a lot of stuff going on. We'll have all that tape delayed for you. They're not able to do live because the WIA has their own TV system going. We're just uh, thankful, grateful we can go down and do things on a tape delay basis. Well, let's take a look here. Here we go. Hemmerspach to Hemmerspach. Bringing the ball down the court. Here's a drive hanging in. It's a shot. We're going to be blocked out of bounds. 4.6 seconds remaining. And we got one timeout left, says Cashton. We're going to use it. Cashton setting up for the last play here with uh, 4.6 seconds remaining, using their last timeout. So Wayne Keenan, Shelly Keenan, myself, and Carl Zuby will be down there uh, for the three days. We'll have a lot of the action going on for you. Here comes Bangor. Well, we may not see the play. We're going to do what we can. Here's a shot is up. No, it might have been blocked in there. And that's going to do it. Wow. What a game. 68-66. Here's the final. Well, we will go through here and get you the scoring totals for Cash and Noah Hammerspock. Let's see, there's six. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 20, 24 points for him tonight. Jake Wall with two. Eight for Brady. Brett Hemmerspach, let's see, there was a two, four, there's 10, 13, 16 for him, and then, uh, let's see, another six, there's uh, eight, and two for 10 for Butzler and uh, for tonight. So Hemmerspach, Noah with 24. Meanwhile, for Bangor, we had... Uh, Michek, well, Brzezini had two. Michek had two, four. There's uh, seven. And two more for nine. Chase Horseman, six and three for nine. Lucas Harmon, two. Krop had three big uh, threes and a couple of free throws in there for 11. Tucker with uh, three threes. There's nine. And four more for 13. Mossman had a couple of threes and uh, three twos. Right? And that's uh, going to be six and six for 12. Polly coming off the bench, he had 10 points. That was a, that was a crazy hurt right there. That's kind of, that one there would kind of got most of them, it seemed like. Well, we will be back here, excuse me, tomorrow night for Cashton Girls basketball action as we begin tournament play. We hope you can join us right back here on the hardwood with Cashton and New Lisbon. Game time, only varsity, folks, only varsity. That starts at 7 o'clock. We should be on the air somewhere around the 6.30 mark. Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Production saying congratulations. Bangor picking up the win 68-66 and a whale of a ball game here. And a final one uh, for the guys here. I guess you could say, but uh, we'll be back here again tomorrow night. So long for now.